Good morning, youth. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your midweek encouragement video. Uh, we are going to be starting Proverbs chapter 20 this week, and so I'm going to jump right in, and we're going to be looking at the first seven verses, and we're going to talk about um, how we can be wise in our action. Proverbs offers a number of these wise sayings, uh, and in Proverbs 20, one of the things, like we've had grab bags in the past, but Proverbs 20 is tough because, especially as we continue into Proverbs now, uh, there's going to be more and more of these, of these, there just seems to be these strange collections, and so we are going to jump around in Proverbs 20 a little bit, but not this morning. Um, Proverbs 20, starting in verse 1, it tells us, Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. Whoever pro provokes him to anger forfeits his life. It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek harvest and have nothing. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep waters, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Many a man proclaims his own steadfast love, but a faithful man who can find it. The righteous walks in his integrity. Blessed are his children after him. The teacher's wisdom here um, can in, in many ways be a challenge for us to be wise with our actions. Understanding that alcohol and, and strong drink leads and has led many others to um, mockery and uh, uh, to be a brawler just knowing that should cause us in wisdom to be careful around those things. The, the teacher encourages us not to conduct ourselves in a way which provokes the people in authority around us to anger. If we have people in our lives who are in authority, we probably don't want to actively do things that are just going to irritate them. He, when he talks about this idea of, of failing to plant and then not having any at harvest, it's, it's a challenge for us to not be lazy when it is time to work. Um, so that way, when it is time to enjoy the, the, the fun and the fruits of that work, we're able to. We're not caught off guard by the effects of our laziness. The teacher talks about how there is value in understanding our purpose. A man of understanding is able to take that and bring it out to full realization and really use that and really do something with it. We are challenged to prove our faithfulness in our actions and not just in our words. We should be doers of these things and not just talk about them. Our integrity can and often does affect the generations and the people who come after us. If we live lives that are, that are willy-nilly and, and do whatever we want, the people who, who have to come after us, both, both our families and just in our personal lives, they are going to have to deal with the fallout of that. So this, these first collection here are challenges for wise living. Um, and I just hope that, that, you know, even if there's one or two of those that stick out to you this week, that you would cling to them. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you um, for our opportunity to hear wisdom. I just pray that as we do so, we would be challenged to live out some of this, this wise action that the teacher talks about. Help us to, to apply it first to ourselves uh, before we seek to help to apply it to others. We love you and thank you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Alrighty, y'all. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your week. We will see you soon. Love you guys. Take care.